back to my channel. Welcome if you're new. My name's Amanda. I am a mom of four little boys. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I decorate my home for Valentine's Day. It's very simple, very minimal, I would say, but just adding pops of Valentine's Day throughout my house. Very affordable too. I reuse a lot of decorations from places like Aldi, the Dollar Tree. I have a few things from Home Goods that are new this year, just two things, I think. Um, so yeah, it's going to be really simple. Hopefully it can give you guys some ideas if you want to decorate for Valentine's Day. Now, of course, I don't go all out like I do for Christmas or Halloween, but it's just fun to add pops here and there, especially for the kids. They love holidays. I love holidays too, so it's fun for all of us. I'm also going to be sharing some easy Valentine's Day treat ideas. You could use these for Valentine's Day or really any time of year, just depending how you decorate the little treats and desserts. And of course, obviously they're kid friendly. My kids love them. So I'm going to share that with you guys too. And then also kind of like a what I got my kids for Valentine's Day really simple just easy things I'm not going all out it's not Christmas or anything like that but I do like to get them a little treat or a little toy or something or other for Valentine's Day and then that's gonna be our whole video except I'm also gonna be sharing the winter solstice boats where we live I forgot to share this in my last vlog they do a sailing through the winter solstice on the creek where they light up all of these different little boats it's so neat to see it's like a big thing here in our county so I filmed a little bit of that and I want to share that with you guys at the end of today's video so if that sounds good to you make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any future videos so like I mentioned guys, this decor is going to be really simple and affordable. My YouTube channel is fairly on the smaller side in the grand scheme of things, so I don't have a ton of extra money just to go out and buy a bunch of decorations each and every year and always change it up. So I hope you can find this relatable in the sense that I'm just reusing things that I already have with the exception of two new inexpensive items. I'm going to go ahead and start by decorating my little hutch here. I have this candy jar I got at Target last year in the dollar spot and I'm actually filling it with candy from Christmas, but I just picked out all of the greens. That's just a little tip for you. You can reuse Hershey Kisses and just put the red and silver ones in there. I'll get more candy later on, but I just had a little bit to start out with that little and sign that's a marquee sign that lights up it's actually from our wedding and still going strong I thought it was just cute to add a little pop of light over here we got married in 2016 and then this candle down here came from another YouTube mama last year she sent it to me for Valentine's Day um, Andrea with unscripted organized chaos thank you so much for that candle I didn't want to burn it because I think it's so pretty and it smells so good and I wanted it to be part of my decor year after year. Next, we're going to hang this little banner on the hutch. I think I hung it here last year. It just says, hello, love. It came from Target Dollar Spot a few years back. I actually used it for Max's birth announcement, or I think when I was pregnant, my pregnancy announcement actually, and I still have it. So I just like to put that up every year. I love that it has red and pink. I'm not going for a specific vibe over here, just anything valentine's red pink neutrals also my outfit i decided to wear my bright pink pants i didn't have a valentine shirt so i just went with plain black and that way i could go to the gym later on i'm already in my gym clothes too <laughs> next we are going to head over to my little i guess it's like a little console table and decorate my tiered tray over there so you'll have to let me know down in the comments below, do you guys decorate for Valentine's Day too, or do you just hold off until Easter or not decorate for anything again until fall time, Christmas? What do you like to do? I like to decorate for fall, Christmas, um, Halloween obviously goes in with the fall, and then I like to do a little bit for Valentine's Day. Same thing for Easter. Sometimes I'll do something for the 4th of July, other years not. It just really depends, and then go all out for Christmas, my favorite. Favorite. So on this little table here, we do have a tier tray that I've kept here all year long and I just change out the decor depending on the season. I'm going to add these little light up Valentine hearts. These came from the Dollar Tree so many years ago and that little XO sign is reversible. I'm actually going to switch it around just as in a second here because I like the other side a little bit better. Um, it just says happy Valentine's Day so I thought that fit the overall theme a little bit more and I added just a faux rose 
over here, just really easy, not over the top or anything like that. I also have that wooden love sign that came from the dollar store so many years ago, like back when it was a dollar. I haven't been to the dollar store in so long because everything's a dollar twenty-five now. And sometimes I just find decor cheaper at like Target and Walmart. But I should check out the Dollar Tree again. It's been so long since I have been there. After this, we are going to take a little break and move on to our Valentine's Day treats. But first, I'm going to add some decor to my coffee bar area. Just this little sign from Mary McGinnis on Etsy. I love her little signs. It's just like a sweetheart Mickey Mouse sign and some more of those heart lights. Just keeping it really simple because we do use this every single day. So I don't want a bunch of clutter and junk in my way when I'm trying to make my coffee in the morning. So for the dishwasher over here I'm just gonna add a little hand towel this is new from home goods it's actually really soft and it feels like a sweater material it came in a two-pack and I thought it was so cute so we're gonna make some Oreo truffles this is an easy no-bake dessert you can make it gluten-free or not I'm making mine gluten-free you will just want equal amounts of Oreos to cream cheese basically. So I have about a quarter block of cream cheese here and I'm using one sleeve of the Oreos and you will just want to mix those two together and put them in the refrigerator so they can get nice and hard and form them into little truffle balls. Now the recipe calls for one block of cream cheese and then 36 Oreos. So you could make a bunch, but I just wanted to make a few for my family and kind of test this recipe out. It worked out really well. My husband loved these. Like I went back to the container and I swear they were all gone. Um, but what you'll want to do is put that in the refrigerator then form them into balls. You can put it back in the refrigerator again while you melt your melting chocolate. You could use vanilla chocolate, you could use pink, red, regular chocolate, whatever you want. I'm using white chocolate that I had left over from Christmas and I'm just gonna dip the balls into the white chocolate, let that harden and you can decorate however you want. If you wanna drizzle different colors on top, if you wanna use sprinkles, I'm just gonna use some red sprinkles and fun fact, I don't like to get foods with dyes in them for the most part. So I found these sprinkles on Amazon and they are dye free, but they're red. So I think that's really amazing. I think more companies should do that because the effects of the dyes have just been shown to be so bad, especially for kids. So I really try and avoid it when I can. And I was so happy to find these sprinkles online. While we are taking a break in the kitchen, I'm going to make some pink heart lollipops. I love to make chocolate lollipops for different seasons and holidays, and I had just gotten these heart molds at a local candy store, so I was excited to use them, and the kids absolutely love these. Now, unfortunately, this is not dye-free. They just had pink melting chocolate, but I try and give and take where I can, so this is just like a one-time treat kind of thing, but if I can find something dye-free readily available, I'll go ahead and get that, but for the lollipops they are not but i'm just gonna make those put them in the fridge and package those up for later i know it's nothing new but it's so good to see you we do this every day and i'm still so amazed by you Moving along to our family room, I am going to string this really pretty felt garland that came from Home Goods this year. I really love it. I love that the felt actually kind of looks like wooden beads and then it has the red and pink hearts. So it just took me a minute here to play around with it to find the right length. I didn't want it dangling too low because I do have eight month old twins who are army crawling all over the house. So I thought that would be kind of dangerous to have it dangling low and have them pull on it. God forbid something fell on their heads or scared them, fell on them, whatever. So I just made sure to put it up high. It is soft though. So if it were to fall, it wouldn't hurt them. But you know, just taking that extra precaution. I love the way this turned out. I kept, I kept everything else very neutral in my family room, just so it's easy to decorate for spring in a few more months as well. Moving on to the entryway table i'm gonna add this box sign from aldi it's also reversible but i like the little side with the bicycle and just add 
had this book stack. I think I got that at the dollar store so many years ago and I'm just gonna style it with some wooden beads and a little bit later on we're gonna add some garland too. So for the babies for Valentine's Day, they got their little book a little bit early just so we could read it up until Valentine's Day, but it's called You're My Little Cuddle Bug. Got it at Sam's Club. It's a little bit cheaper than online, but I'll link the Amazon one down below because sometimes Amazon does go as cheap as the Sam's Club books, so definitely check it out. But these little books are so cute for little babies. We had the gingerbread, or I think it was Christmas cookie one or gingerbread man one for Christmas time, and now they they have the little cuddle bug one such cute books definitely recommend this one if you have a little baby or a very small toddler also for the twins got them these matching outfits they came up when I typed in Valentine's outfits on Target's website they were $12 a piece so of course we had to get two of those they come with a little quilted sweater and say happy together in the red color with matching little blue striped pants and my plan for these is to have them wear these for their nine month pictures they'll be nine months old I cannot believe it um, by the time you're seeing this video they will be nine months old so they have these little outfits they can wear for their picture and I'm gonna sprinkle a little like Valentine's hearts around them and just make it super cute so that's basically what the babies are getting they are nine months old and they have a ton of toys already plus they have Easter coming up end of March and their birthday in April so they're gonna be getting a lot of things and then I'm gonna show you guys what the big boys are gonna get for Valentine's Day for the big kids, they're each going to be getting a little Lego. I actually got this one last Valentine's Day or right after on sale um, on Amazon. So it's two little parrot lovebirds. Um, that'll be for Mason because Mason actually has this one. He was gifted it for Christmas already and I'd already picked it up for him. Um, so Max will get the spaceship. He'll be super excited to have one that matches his big brother. Of course, as you know, if you have more than one kid, they always <laughs> would like what their older sibling has usually so Max will be super excited to get the spaceship and then Mason will have this parrot which is new to him I think it's so cute we have all the little holiday ones he likes to collect them we have the Halloween one and the Christmas one and the Easter one so this will be his little Valentine's one and then they're also each going to get a book which are coming in the mail from Amazon they're not here quite yet um, but when they arrive I'm going to show you guys so I just wanted to show you guys real quick. This just came in the mail, not in time for the video. It's actually the next day, but this little felt heart garland came from Target. I think it was like three bucks, maybe five at most, but I'm pretty sure it was $3. I think it's so cute and versatile. I just have it hanging here in the entryway, but you could put it across the fireplace or anywhere you want. Uh, Mom life duty calls, gotta go feed the babies a little bit more puffs. They're hanging out in their high chairs, but I'm gonna show you guys the books for the big boys as soon as they come in the mail today. Here's Jackson and Lukey. One is eating strawberries, the other is eating little puffs. Lukey likes to feed himself, right Lukey? You don't like purees. And Jackson will pretty much try anything, but Lukey is over the puree phase. He just wants to feed himself independently. Jackson will too, of course, but he also still enjoys the purees and the applesauces and things like that. But he's trying a whole strawberry for the first time. I just have this little mesh thing i think from one of the big boys we never used it before but someone reminded me of it so i thought i would grab it and he is trying it they still have colds for like a week now it's so sad we all had it um but hopefully they are on the tail end right buddies yeah are you enjoying your snacks <laughs> Okay, the big boys books finally came in. So for Max, my three-year-old, I got Little Blue Trucks Valentine. He loves trucks so much. I'm actually surprised we don't have this book already. We have the springtime one and the Christmas one and the regular one, but we never had Valentine's. So I think he will love that one so much. And then for my five-year-old, this isn't Valentine's, but he collects the Piggy and Elephant books. And he got volume three for Christmas, but we've read through all the stories. And he really wanted volume four, so I went on Amazon and found that. I'll link the books down below and anything that I can from this video, whether that be um, a decor item or the kids' gifts. And then I just wanted to show you real quick the Valentine's that I got for the class. I actually got these on a deal on Red Tag Ricky which is like my favorite couponing site on Facebook, but they're little um, 
dinosaur cards and they come with little eggs that hatch so I thought these are so cute you just put the little card in with the egg in the plastic bag so I got two packs of those because I think both boys will be having Valentine's Day parties this year but I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to play some clips from the Sailing Through the Winter Solstice with just some music. But I wanted to thank you guys for watching this video in its entirety. If you did enjoy it, please subscribe to my channel. I would love to have you here. And I will catch you guys in the next one. Bye.